Hello Pisces, my awesome soul brothers and sisters. Happy weekend to you. I hope you are relaxing, enjoying your weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Pisces, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces. For Pisces, highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life. And how <clears throat> is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> Oh, yeah. you feel so exhausted in your soulmate relationship. You feel drained. You love this person, though. <clears throat> this is you loving your soulmate, but feeling very stressed out. Communication is a problem between you two, and you really would be willing to reconcile with this person because you still love them. This is you still loving your soulmate, feeling the need to communicate more effectively uh, because you really want to reconcile. You are very stressed about this situation just hanging there in the air, in limbo. <clears throat> and the reason why you feel so stressed is because you still love this person. Let's see your subconscious position. Yeah, so you want a solid relationship with this person. This also shows another message for you, very important. Family members, your family members are draining you. Yeah, not all of them, but the ones that are draining you are the ones that mm, have been acting in a very toxic way in your life. And maybe you've been bending backwards for them to do things for them. And you're realizing more and more as time passes by that mm, you need to let them mm, take care of themselves. You cannot be babysitting grown-ups anymore. You see this? You're doing too much. Yeah. <clears throat> doing too much mm -hmm. you are overburdened with responsibilities that even shouldn't be yours yeah universe please show us look how tired you are this is you being exhausted you see this too many responsibilities on your shoulders that are not even yours but you took them uh, when you shouldn't you need to let people Take accountability for their own lives to learn lessons. Otherwise, they'll never learn. Yeah. It's called tough love. Yeah. You have to love toxic relatives from a distance. Otherwise, they'll drain you as long as you allow them. Universe, please show us hmm, what's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their summit journey. <clears throat> Yeah, so you, look, communication showing up in two scenarios here. One with your soulmate, you want to have better understanding with your soulmate. And two is with certain family members that have been draining you, exhausting you. Yeah, once you communicate effectively and put everything on the table and tell them whether it's your soulmate or family members that have been draining you, uh, what time it is and tell them what it is you expect of them and what you're willing or not willing to do or sacrifice. Um, you will feel a sense of uh, relief, okay? Uh, how they react to it uh, will be up to them, but you cannot let people mm, drain you continuously because that's what they're going to continue doing, yeah. You also feel drained financially, you see this? This is you feeling drained financially by certain people in your life. Yeah. Remember, you cannot be paying other people's bills. No. Mm -mm. Adults who should be working should be paying their own bills. You shouldn't be uh, rescuing people with their finances. They need to learn accountability for their own adult lives. 
Oh my gosh. Your soulmate is kind of in and out of your life, in and out, in and out, not really letting you know what to expect, where this is going. Yeah, you feel alone in this relationship. So currently you feel not in a relationship with your soulmate. You feel abandoned. You feel alone in this relationship. You are broke financially because of certain people that have been draining you. So you cannot do this to yourself. You cannot allow people to drain you financially or any other way uh, because they're going to continue doing it. Yeah, you need to uh, say no. Yeah, you need to say no to people who are draining you, continuously using you. Yeah, you see finances. So something showing up here for you on the horizon uh, that has to do with financial abundance and because you are so giving nurturing loving caring i would be very careful not to announce this financial abundance coming to you because these people will come out of woodwork and use you more so you have to be very careful set healthy boundaries uh, for yourself not allowing people to manipulate you or use you in any way yeah this is you needing to find balance in your life. You feel so out of balance. This is you also learning patience. <clears throat> you are too nurturing, too giving with certain people that know how to take advantage. Look how tired you are. You are beyond tired. You are exhausted, but you're willing to reconcile with your soulmate if they uh, meet you halfway, if they show improvement in their behavior <clears throat> honestly yes your um, soulmate connection is an issue but your bigger issue right now is certain toxic relatives yeah universe please show us hmm, what's coming up for pisces in their life and how is pisces currently doing Look how heartbroken you are because of your family members. Look at this. This is you. They inflicted so much heartbreak on you. You see this? Look at this. This is the worst card in the whole deck. Three of Swords heartbreak. Betrayed by certain relatives who uh, do that. To them, it's normal behavior. So you, you're going to really have to put your foot down and tell them what time it is. That you are no longer allowing them to use you. Whether it's drain you financially, emotionally. You also feel heartbroken in your soulmate relationship. Yeah, look how tired you are. You are beyond tired. You are exhausted. You really need to take time to yourself. Take care of yourself. Just like you've been nurturing others, you need to nurture yourself for a change. Yeah, so you can feel ah, alive again. You can breathe again. Yeah, you feel so exhausted. You feel so drained and heartbroken yeah uh, this is you needing to take care of yourself right now what's important right now is you yeah wow pisces you've been going through a lot i'm so sorry you're going through so much let's see what's going on with this soulmate of yours that you've been dealing with that showed up twice as knight of cups kind of in and out in and out of your life not really telling you where you stand what to expect how they really feel not committing to you yeah, wishy-washy behavior, mind games showing up. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces that Pisces has been dealing with. And how's that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces? And how's that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time, especially emotionally? Oh, my goodness. They showing up as my least favorite page of all pages page of swords someone who doesn't communicate effectively because their sword is pointing down someone who's in and out of your life someone who is not dependable doesn't tell you where you stand what to expect where this relationship is going they don't listen yeah this is a problem 
Yeah, and there's somebody else showing up again with your family that is extremely mature and knows how to manipulate you. One person in particular, the first person that comes to your mind in your family, one of the toxic relatives, is extremely immature and knows how to manipulate you, how to deceive you, lie to you, to get what they want. Be very careful because that person is showing up uh, with a sword, not a cup. So it's like they do it without feeling any conscience about it. Yeah, they don't care that they drain you. They know that they are manipulating you, but they don't care. That's so sad. One person in particular, so you have a bunch of them, but one in particular is uh, very good at manipulating people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are exhausted. So yes, you're current soulmate connection is a problem uh, but your bigger problem is a manipulative family member one in particular is more manipulative than other toxic relatives you've been uh, uh, with um, the soulmate that you're dealing with is spying on you checking up on you they really not making you feel loved they feel unloved by you. They feel like maybe you're letting them go. They're still holding on to you, to some kind of hope. Hmm. Oh my goodness, Pisces. What is going on with your family members? Universe, please show us. Yeah. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces? So even though we're asking about your soulmate specifically, you, your family keeps popping up. So the bigger problem is your family members, especially one in particular. Yeah, you see, they caused you a lot of heartbreak. So this family member feels like a victim of life and circumstances. They like to have pity parties. They like to feel sorry for themselves. They don't even care about themselves. How are they going to care about you? Yeah, you see this? They're causing you a lot of emotional setbacks financial setbacks yeah you need to say goodbye yeah you cannot let toxic people stay in your life because they're going to continuously use you and drain you yeah wow this is how you feel like you have to protect yourself like you have to defend yourself like you can't trust anybody you feel very weary yeah financial setbacks because of this person this toxic relative well, you have a bunch of them, but one in particular seems to be closer to you and knows how to manipulate you better than others do. This shows some kind of financial success at your job or business. Yeah, um, this is you. You're going to be successful at something that you're thinking of, whether it's a project, idea, uh, business idea, or anything of that nature that will bring profit in. I would be very careful not to announce that uh, success to this person. Yeah, because they know how to get you and suck you dry financially. Look how beautiful your energy is, but you don't even see it because you're so surrounded by toxic people. You don't even recognize your own inner strength, worth. You see this? You don't even see your own divine light within you. You see this? Your energy is beautiful, but you are surrounded by toxic people because you allow them to stick around. You need to learn how to stand up for yourself. Yeah, how to say no to... Yeah, you see? This just fell out. This just fell out for a reason. And these two cards were exposed when it fell out. So the person here, <clears throat> when they see, because they are a great manipulator, when they realize that you catching on to them, to their game, and you are trying to distance yourself from them physically and emotionally. They're going to play a victim card. They're going to uh, play you. Uh, they're going to pull on your emotions, feelings to make you feel sorry for them, not to let them go. Do not trust them. This is betrayal. This is lies. You're dealing with someone who is a great manipulator. Okay. You need to protect yourself. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, Pisces, the universe will show us <clears throat> what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces. Mm, mm, mm. 
yeah they they made you broke so they're using you financially they draining you this this family member of yours whoever it is is not only draining you emotionally causing you a lot of setbacks in life they are also draining you financially where you feel drained financially emotionally like you broke yeah mm -hmm. <clears throat> You're going to try to, you already know what you need to do. This reading is just a confirmation for you that you are in fact correct. That You need to set boundaries, not to allow people to use you. Look at this, you have a bunch of them. You also have um, toxic people at your job who are fighting with each other, gossiping, trying to set each other for failure. Um, stay away from them, stay away from gossip circles. Yeah, there's jealousy towards you. Because people see your talent, your potential, there's jealousy towards you. So you need to really practice healthy boundaries, not allow people to affect you negatively with their behavior, with their self-created dramatics in life, right? Yeah. Look how beautiful your energy is, but you don't even see it. You see this? You don't even see it, Pisces. Yeah, this is you needing to take care of yourself for a change. Yeah. Whoever this person is in your family, the first person that comes to your mind, you have a bunch of them, but this one is the worst one, the biggest manipulator. Um, you're going to really have a hard time uh, convincing them that you're done uh, carrying the weight. Uh, yeah. So, mm. universe, please show us what's going on here with the soulmate of Pisces. <clears throat> The soulmate is still holding on to you. Um, you guys have had many serious disagreements, fights, arguments. Yeah, there's something they're hiding from you, your soulmate, the romantic person. Yeah. Wow, Pisces, you have a lot on your shoulders right now. You really need to take care of yourself. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life, new chapters. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.